name's Juliet and I'm from Big Books. Yeah. It's my pleasure to invite you to Big Books tonight and this is a very auspicious occasion for us. This is our first launch in our new bookshop. So we're very proud and very pleased to have you all here tonight. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, kia ora tato. Uh, kia ora tato, good evening. Um, I'm Fergus Barrowman, publisher of Victoria University Press. Um, it's a great pleasure to welcome you all here for the launch of Fighting to Choose. Um, it's a lovely large turnout for what I think is a very important book, a book I'm absolutely thrilled to have on our list. Um, it's a book I think that can be a model for this kind of book. It's a book of really thorough and impeccably balanced research and also of very vigorous and crisp and determined writing. So huge congratulations to Alison McCulloch. The author make some brief thanks before we get underway. First of all to Vic Books for having us here in their shiny new shop. It's their first book launch. Um, it's a great new asset to the campus, this shop, and I hope many of you will come back um, and use it even if you're not here regularly. Um, thank you to a couple of organisations that have assisted with both the research and writing and in different ways with the publication of the book. Um, WOMAC and also the Auckland Medical Aid Trust. Um, they have supported editing, um, some legal reading, um, the presentation of the book, and also work Alison's going to be doing later, um, travelling, presenting the book, and working in education. Um, so we're very grateful for them for making this possible. Um, we'll have two speakers. Uh, in a moment we will have uh, Dame Margaret Sparrow, the perfect person to launch the book. But first, um, I would like to introduce Di Cleary, who will be our first speaker. Di has been a member and spokesperson for Wonex since 1972, I will. No, much later. Much later. <laughs> it says 1972 on my speech notes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Di, nevertheless, is um, one of the veterans who has been working tirelessly. 